Hello guys, so in this video we will see how we can derive the equations of derivatives for activation functions. So in this video I will derive the equations of derivatives for sigmoid, relu, leaky relu and tan h function. Okay, so let's get started. So first is sigmoid and sigmoid function is actually given as f of z is equal to 1 by 1 plus t to the power minus z. So we already know this. Okay, so now we have to find out the derivative of this function with respect to z. Okay, so let me write that d by dz of f of z, right? So this can be written as d by dz of, I will write 1 by 1 plus e to the power minus z as 1 plus e to the power minus z to the power minus 1. So I can write it like this, right? So now applying the rule of derivative differentiations, what I will do? I will get minus 1 here. And it will be 1 plus e to the power minus z to the power minus 2. And derivative of e to the power minus z is minus e to the power minus z. Okay. So now what I will do? I will just multiply this, right? So it will be e to the power minus z. So I will take this term to the denominator. So it will become 1 plus e to the power minus z square. Okay. So now if I simplify this, so what I will do? I will write this in this way. So, e to the power minus z divided by, I can write it twice, right? 1 plus e to the power minus z into 1 plus e to the power minus z, right? Because we have square here, I have written the same term two times. So, now what I will do? I will write this as 1 by 1 plus e to the power minus z into e to the power minus z divided by 1 plus e to the power minus z, okay? So, what is this? This is again f of z, correct? f of z is equal to 1 by 1 plus e to the power minus z. So, it will be f of z into, so this can be written as 1 minus 1 by 1 plus e to the power minus z, correct? So, why? So, if you take this term out here, only this particular term and try to simplify it, it will be 1 plus e to the power minus z minus 1 divided by 1 plus e to the power minus z, correct? So, this one and this one will get cancelled. So, the remaining terms will be e to the power minus z by 1 plus e to the power minus z, correct? So, this thing I have written in this particular form here, okay? Now, I can write this as f of z into 1 minus, I can treat this as f of z again, correct? So, it will be 1 minus f of z. So, this is my derivative of d by dz of f of z if my f is sigmoid function. Okay. So, this is our derivative of sigmoid function. Okay. So, now let us look at the derivative of relu. So, let me maintain the consistency of naming here. So, I will write it as f of z only. Okay. So, f of z is equal to, ReLU is given as max of 0, comma z, correct? So, this can be written as uh, z if z is greater than 0, greater than or equal to 0 and 0 if it is negative, if z is negative, correct? So, this is what ReLU is. So, if we want to take the derivative of this, we have to do it based on these conditions itself, okay. So, it will be, so, let me write derivative of ReLU f d by dz of f of z is equal to 1 if z is greater than 0, okay. And it will be 0 if z is less than 0 or negative, okay. And so, instead of less than 0, okay, it will be less, let us take it as less than 0, uh, it does not matter here, okay. And if z is equal to 0, derivative is actually undefined, okay, it is undefined. But when we do write it in Python, we cannot have our undefined value, right. So, what we will do, we will take uh, it like this. So, 1 if z is greater than 0, 0 if z is less than or equal to 0. So, this will be our derivative of ReLU. 
so relu is for rectified linear unit hope you know that okay so rectified linear unit okay so this is what relu is and why the derivative of relu at z is equal to 0 is undefined so if you know how relu looks like so it looks something like this right so it's here and then this is relu correct so this is our relu if we plot how it looks like so this is z and this is f of z where f is relu so at this particular point where z is zero the derivative is undefined so we cannot actually obtain the derivative at this particular point so but we cannot have that in program programmatically so we will consider this particular derivative for relu 1 if it is greater than 0, 0 if it is less than or equal to 0. Okay, so this is about relu. So, how about leaky relu? So, leaky relu also is similar to relu, right? So, instead of 0, this looks something like this. So, let me just copy the figure here. So, this is how leaky relu looks like, correct? So, instead of getting parallel at particular this particular line z it will have some small slope here correct so this is leaky relu and the function is given as f of z is equal to max of 0 0.01 into z comma z correct so the derivative of this will be so similar to this thing correct so d by dz of f of z so this can be given as 1 if z is greater than 0, 0 0.01 if z is less than 0 and again it will be undefined if z is 0. But programmatically we cannot have this again. So we will say uh, we can have it 0 0.01 if z is less than or equal to 0 or 1 if z is greater than or equal to 0. It is up to our convenience. Okay, So this is the derivative of leaky relu okay leaky relu okay now coming to the derivative of tan h so it, it actually uh, we have to derive it it's not as simple as re, relu leaky relu and sigmoid okay we have to make use of something called as division or quotient rule of derivatives okay so let me write the function for tan h first so tan h right so tan h of z is given as e to the power z minus e to the power minus z divided by e to the power z plus e to the power minus z okay so this is our hyperbolic tangent hyperbolic tangent in short we call it as tan h okay so now in order to find out the derivative of tan h right so let me write it as d by dz of f of z so here this is f of z f of z is equal to this particular thing e power z minus e power minus z divided by e power z plus e power minus z so here if you consider this as a division rule if you apply the division rule we can write it as e to the power z plus e to the power minus z into d by dz of this particular term here e to the power z minus e to the power minus z minus this term here e to the power z minus e to the power minus z multiplied by d by so sorry for that d by dz of this particular term okay so e to the power z plus e to the power minus z okay and then divided by square of the denominator right so it will be e to the power z plus e to the power minus z square so this is how i have written this by making use of division or quotient rule of derivative division or quotient rule so i am not actually sure if it is also called as quotient rule so pardon me if i am wrong here okay but for sure it is a division rule of derivative okay quotient rule or division rule of derivative so using this particular thing i have written it like this so if you simplify it so i can write it as 
e to the power z plus e to the power minus z into this particular thing can be written as the derivative of this particular term becomes e to the power z plus e to the power minus z. So, why? Because derivative of this particular term is e to the power z itself. So, derivative of e to the power x with respect to x is e power x itself, right? So, just replace x with z. So, you will get to know that, okay? So, now derivative of e to the power minus e to the power minus z, right? So, it will be minus e to the power minus z into minus 1. So, it will be plus. So, it will be e to the power z plus e to the power minus z. And similarly, this term becomes e to the power z minus e to the power minus z multiplied by, so this entire thing becomes e to the power z minus e to the power minus z divided by, we will have this particular term, e to the power z plus e to the power minus z square. Okay. So, now if I simplify this, it will be this square minus this square, correct? So, e to the power z plus e to the power minus z square minus e to the power z minus e to the power minus z square divided by e to the power z plus e to the power minus z square, correct? So, this can be written as, I will write it, so, so in order for, in order to simplify the explanation, I will just write it one, one more time, square divided by e to the power z plus e to the power minus z square and this minus e to the power minus z minus e to the power minus z square divided by e to the power z plus so this is not minus here so this is just e power z here correct so let me just correct that there is no minus here okay e to the power z plus e to the power minus z square so now this will cancel out okay so it will be 1 minus this particular term. So, what is it? So, this is e to the power z, this can be written as e to the power z minus e to the power minus z divided by e to the power z plus e to the power minus z square. Okay. And this particular term here is nothing but tan h, correct? So, tan h square. Okay. So, this is what the derivative of tan h is. So, we are representing tan h as f of z is equal to tan h correct so here it will be 1 minus f of z square so this is the derivative of f of z if f is our tan h activation function so in order to write it in a neat way so let me just write sigmoid so f of z is given as 1 by 1 plus e to the power minus z, okay. And the derivative of this, in short, we can write it as f prime of z. So, what is the derivative of sigma? It is 1 minus f of z into 1 minus f of z, correct. So, let me just write. So, f of z into 1 minus f of z. So, this is the derivative of sigmoid activation function. So, you can expand this f of z is this particular thing here. You can substitute in the equation and get it. Now, coming to ReLU. So, it will be uh, so ReLU is given as f of z is equal to max of 0, comma z. So, derivative f of f prime of z is equal to a 1 if z is greater than 0, 0 if z is less than or equal to 0. So, this is the derivative of ReLU and leaky ReLU, leaky ReLU it is given as, so it is similar to ReLU, right? So, max of 0.01x, 0.01z comma z, correct? And f prime of z will be 1 if z is greater than 0 and 0 0.01 if it is less than or equal to 0. So, this is the derivative of leaky relu. So, for tan h, let me just write it here. Tan h. So, f of z is equal to e to the power z minus e to the power minus z divided by e to the power z plus e to the power minus z. So, the derivative of this is given as 
so sorry let me write it clearly so f prime of z is equal to 1 minus f of z square so how it is i have derived it here so you can refer to this particular part of derivation okay so hope you guys understood it and in my next video we will try to implement each of these derivatives in python without using any library we will just make use of numpy or just a math library from python okay so that's it for this video guys if you like the content give it a thumbs up and share it among your peers who wants to learn in depth math on every ml and ai topics okay so if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe till we see in the next video happy learning bye bye